Hey guys, welcome to the shop worldwide. My name is Michael. Today, as you see, I am in the Jeep today. Um, we are going to do some rear drum brakes. Um, notice there is kind of some grinding, scraping sounds coming from the rear. And also the um, light on the dash keeps uh, coming on occasionally for the uh, brakes. So I uh, want to take a look at those because uh, I haven't popped the drums off since I bought it. Don't know when the last time they were replaced anyways. Shoes are fairly inexpensive and I'm going to go ahead and get all the hardware for it as well. So um, yeah, I guess let's uh, dive into that. All right, we got the Jeep in here. We're gonna get it up in the air, get the rear wheels off, and get those drums off and take a look at what we got. All right, well, this is what happened when I pulled the drum off. All this was already knocked off. As you see, all this was loose as well, so we're gonna fix all of this. All right, well, they sent me the wrong things that I needed to do the uh, brake shoes and the wrong hardware, so, uh, couldn't finish that yesterday so I uh, stopped on my way home well I got it kind of rigged where the uh, brakes wouldn't catch anymore got all the pieces out cleaned it down with brake clean and uh, hit it with a um, wire brush just to kind of clean it up some and then I made it home uh, well, on my way home and then I stopped and got the correct parts put my hands on them looked at them made sure they were correct and uh, made my way back home just finished up with work now so I'm gonna um, get the correct parts on here so these are the new parts um, these are the correct ones so I'm gonna work on getting these on in just a moment all right we're back in the shop now let's get these wheels off drums off and take a look at what we got so yeah this is what we were left with yesterday and as you see here those parts jingling around really took a toll on this brig shoe so um, that's why we needed that hardware kit specifically and the new shoes. So we're going to get all this taken off. We're going to compare it to the other side because I honestly haven't done brake shoes in a while. So we're going to take our time with it. All right, as you see here, I do have all of it taken apart now for the most part. And I kind of set it down as it came off here. So to kind of give me an idea when I go to putting it back together, not completely like it was obviously, but just give me kind of an idea. All right, I got my hardware out here. I'm going to get it kind of organized and like separated for uh, what I need for each side and then I'll uh, continue from there. And now you see here I got them separated. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the driver side back together the way it should have been done. And first we got that red spinger in place right there. Next we have this little pin here we're going to persuade to go into that bottom hole there similar to this one here so we're gonna have that notched part up and push the flat part into that brake shoe okay so we made it this far we got the new shoes on um, we showed we got that new spring on there uh, and we got these on so that has I'll go around the back a little piece that goes through right there and a spring in that little cap on top and you want to push down on that cap to push in the spring and then twist it so it locks that in place and that'll, those will hold the shoes in place while we try to get everything else hooked up so this piece here I'm not really worried about as long as it's kind of in place we're gonna start getting some of these springs on now as you see here I do have a lot of it put together now just got the bottom blue spring on got the adjuster on and I'm gonna have to get it adjusted uh, parking brakes still haven't been hooked up but we are getting there and I will not lie I'm not enjoying it I remember why I haven't done drum brakes in a long time because I do not like doing them uh, one major thing I will uh, I guess is this back parking brake thing here uh, do make sure you put that in before the brake shoe on this side get that push through the brake shoe and then get your clip on it because I almost did forget and I would have had to pull everything back off also this will go behind the springs here so yeah much more complicated than disc brakes 
All right, now I have this part hooked here. Uh, easiest way to do it is just to push this away from the adjuster and up so it'll meet this because this wire does not stretch at all. So the spring does, this little metal spring here, it will stretch. So push that up to meet that, not the other way around. So this side is all done. Got it all sprayed down with brake clean. Now I'm gonna get the drum back on there, wheel back on, and we will get to the other side. All right, we got both tires on now, and we're gonna lower it back down, torque the wheels, and then uh, we'll go for a little test drive. Well, we did successfully make it back home, which is good. Uh, the brake light did not come on again. The brakes felt a lot better. Um, I mean, I hit them the first couple of times, it about snatched me into my seatbelt. So, um, much better than it was. So, I'm uh, very happy with those results. Hopefully, it'll stay that way and I won't have to dig back into those. Um, as you could probably tell, was not a fan of doing it. <laughs> I just, it, it's been a while since I've done drums, probably honestly like 10 years, and I don't have any of the tools to do it, you know, the easy way. So, um, but yeah, got it done and uh, works great now. So hopefully I'll uh, have something else coming up soon. And I'm sure Corey has plenty of stuff going on, so check out the rest of those videos. Like and subscribe. Check out the merch. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.